Hello, third graders. Uh, I am here today to explain to you a word that we use when we're talking about government uh, that can be kind of tricky sometimes, okay? Um, so the word is citizenship. It's easier to understand that word if you break it down and understand the first part of the word, which is citizen, okay? So a citizen is a legal member of a community. A community is a thing that could be a state, a city, a country, or a province, okay? So a community is a group of people. Citizenship ensures or makes sure that you, as a citizen, have rights and responsibilities. These are two words that we learned before Semana Santa, okay? So, every citizen is a free and equal member of the community. This means that you cannot do anything to me or anybody else to take away their rights. And I can't do anything to you or anybody else to take away their rights, okay? So, things like the freedom of speech, freedom of pursuit of happiness, your freedom as a human being, I cannot do anything to take those rights away from you or else it's breaking the law. Now, with rights comes responsibilities. And some responsibilities are something we call mandatory. Now, mandatory means that there are things that you have to do, okay? Or it's considered breaking the law. So, if you break the law, if you don't do your responsibility, like following the law, like driving the right speed, like... Um, not stealing things from other people. If you do not uphold these uh, responsibilities, then you can go to jail. It's against the law. There are other responsibilities, though, that are not mandatory, but they're encouraged, okay? Encouraged means that they are things that you should do, that you don't have to do, but you really, really should. These are things like voting in an election for the president, okay? It's not against the law, to not vote. You have the right to not vote, but it's something that is encouraged and it's something that you should do because it's important. We want to elect presidents that believe in the things that we, as citizens, believe in. So although it's not against the law, that's things that you should do, okay? If you want to move to a new country and become a citizen in a different country, there's something that you have to do. So if you wanted to move from Ecuador and you wanted to leave and fly all the way to the United States and you wanted to be a citizen that had rights and responsibilities in the United States, you would have to do something um, like have an interview with somebody who would ask you questions about yourself. Um, after that interview, you would have to do a little test to test your knowledge of the United States where you're going to be a citizen. So this can take some studying, this can take some work, all right? Um, and I would have to do the same thing if I wanted to become a citizen in another country. This is basically everything that you need to know about the word citizenship or about citizen, okay? So to recap, a citizen is a person that has rights and responsibilities. I can't do anything to take rights away from you you can't do anything to take rights away from me. I have responsibilities that I have to fulfill, and I have responsibilities that I don't have to, but I really, really should because they're important. And if I want to be a citizen in another country, I would have to go all the way over there, I would have to study, I would have to have an interview, and I would have to prove that I know enough to become a citizen in that country, okay? So this hopefully will help you understand everything you need to know about the word citizenship. Now that you've now that you've listened to this video, I would like you to please go into your PYP journal, open it up, on the top of the page title it citizenship, and underneath I would like you to explain to me in one paragraph what does the word mean, okay? If you need help, maybe go back, rewind this video, watch it one more time, listen to my voice again, um, you don't need to use every word that I do. I would like to hear it in your own words and make sure that it's one paragraph, all right? So a paragraph is one, two, three sentences, sometimes four. If you can do four, I would be really proud of you, okay? Um, so tell me what you think citizenship is um, or what a citizen is uh, in your own words. Thanks.